What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm out here in the garage. Figured I'd do a quick unboxing video of a few things that we're gonna be doing uh, to the GTR. Um, so on Instagram I posted the Turbo Smart blow valves because I can hear the stock blow valves leaking under boost, kind of making that like howling sound. Um, but I got some stuff that I'm gonna be doing since we're gonna be building more horsepower with the turbo kit. Um, I figure it's going to be time to upgrade these stock brakes because when I was stopping on the track at 140 plus miles an hour didn't really have all the stopping power that I want so we've got this is a Z1 Motorsports ordered their brake adapter kit and that's for the Akibono brakes. So I uh, ordered that. Uh, also ordered these guys here. I'm gonna check these out. I'm gonna be installing these as soon as I get the turbos done. So I ordered the, uh, this is the 370Z uh, two piece Akibono front rotors. So these are 14 inch, cross drilling slotted. So these have the two piece aluminum top hat and cross drilled and slotted rotors. And these are 14 inch versus I believe the stock rotors on this car are like 11.7 or 11.8 inches. So you're gonna get an extra two inches of uh, diameter there. The aluminum top hats are finished off in heat treating and premium black hard anodizing. So these are gonna make a pretty big difference. You guys are probably wondering what's in the big box. We're gonna open that here in a second. And I ordered these on Black Friday from Z1. They had like a 10% off promotion. And we're gonna be matching them up with the calipers over here. So here's a good look at the new under tray. And it's just gonna look nice. I mean, it's not anything you're gonna see, but when I get under the car, it's just gonna look nice and uniform and clean. And the only thing that was wrong with the old one, like you can see this looks definitely dried out and this is black versus this is kind of gray. The oil's kind of dried out of the plastic over time. Uh, but this piece is uh, cracked or broken. It just looks kind of gross. So yeah, I think that'll be a nice improvement. So I bought these brake calipers on eBay probably like a year and a half ago. Uh, just basically planning to get these brakes. They're just kind of expensive for the rotors. Uh, they run about 550 bucks. And uh, as you can see, they are rebuildable. So the core is rebuildable. Uh, you just take those uh, bolts off there and you can replace just the rotor um, themselves and reuse the aluminum hat um, which I'll put the price up there uh, what I got them on Z1 I think they're like 350 for the rebuildable cores but the biggest advantage of these is they're two-piece design versus having this all solid iron uh, these save 10 pounds off of each rotor so instead of 30 pounds they weigh only 20 pounds so you have all that unsprung mass Saving so it's gonna make the car feel lighter and more agile. So I shouldn't really notice too much uh, Weight difference from the factory rotors being that those are solid cast and a lot smaller These will give me just a lot more stopping power. See how the cooling fins are designed to Channel air through them. They're not straight up and down. They're at an angle So as the uh, rotor is spinning it'll help cool the rotor by pulling air from the blue from the center out Rotors have an EDP coating or black electrophorinic deposit coating and it's going to keep them from rusting. 
which is really nice because it's nothing worse than having rusty rotors in your nice clean looking wheels. So that's gonna be our setup there. And I think those are gonna look really nice. Uh, I thought about doing the red calipers. I like the, uh, the charcoal. I think they're gonna look more clean and uh, less flashy. I think they'll match real nice with the Nismo wheels. And they'll fill, you know, it's gonna go all the way up to here. So it's gonna fill the wheel opening. It's gonna look much nicer. And I do have the rears. I didn't buy the rear rotors because they're kind of expensive, they're like 650 bucks. So I'm gonna do those later. And I've got all the OEM lines. Um, I still got to look into the brake lines because I got to adapt uh, the line into these brakes. They're different than the factory one, so I got to figure that out. Um, these are the adapters. So really nice anodized aluminum. And I'll set one on the back of the caliper so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. And you'll see that these are two-piece Akibono brakes, which matches the calipers that are on the 370Z or the... Infinity Q50 sport brakes, they are Akibono as well, so they will both match. Just pretty badass. I had a Brembo's on my old WRX that I spent like $3,000 for. Those were 13 inch two piece brakes. Very similar setup to this uh, cross drilled slotted. Uh, these are an inch bigger. And they cost me way less. This is like uh, almost a third of the price. And I think it's uh, going to have better stopping performance as well. Let's kind of roughly set this on there so you can kind of see how they fit. And then from what I understand, you have to do a lot of uh, grinding on the knuckle in order to mount this bracket to the car itself, uh, which I'll go over that in the video when I do the install. Um, as far as this hardware, factory hardware is definitely much nicer than this stainless steel stuff. I think I'm going to take it all in and get it all zinc coated just so it doesn't rust and uh, help keep it looking nice and new. Just like that. Look at that zinc. Look at that zinc coating. Right, Tommy? He likes his zinc coating. Got your instructions manual on here. It goes over all the steps on how to do it. And then uh, I know there's a couple of YouTube videos too, like uh, Dustin Godzilla. He put on, I think, the 370Z. Oh no, 350Z brake kit on his. So, so we're going to be doing a uh, Brembo brake upgrade. I'll probably watch his video before I do the install, kind of refresh myself before I conquer this task. But brakes aren't too bad. I should be able to easily do the job, I believe. I've done brakes uh, quite a few times, so. If you guys are wondering, these are just the um, adapters that go to the 300ZX. They're, the knuckles on the front are the exact same as the Skyline. The only difference is the uh, the brake caliper uh, has a little bit bigger um, arm on the Skyline over the 300ZX. I believe the rotor is like about a half inch bigger. Um, other than that, it mounts right up. And here's the 370Z rear brakes, just so you guys can see that I do have those. They look nice and clean, everything like the zinc and stuff is still there on the zinc coating. I figured I'll just give you guys a quick uh, sneak peek at the Turbo Smart blow-off valve, what comes in the box. Uh, most likely I'm going to install these tomorrow. Um, pretty easy, I'll just take the front bumper off, throw them on real quick. Should only take like maybe an hour or two. Um, but here, yeah, let's check it out. So that's your uh, recirc uh, that goes back to uh, through the, the intercooler, back around through the intakes. Um, this is can be set up both ways. So you can set this up as either a recirc or a vent to atmosphere. But yeah, these look really nice. Um, you can adjust it if you want it softer or harder. You just twist it. But yeah, you guys stay posted. I'll uh, get this video uploaded pretty quick. And uh, 
it'll be one more extra step to improving my car. To get this stuff done, I think my build will be pretty much done. The uh, last thing I'd like to do is do the valve covers, which that's just extra money to pay for powder coating. Uh, get all this done so it matches. I still can't pick out a color. I was thinking HK is purple. Uh, I was thinking maybe black. Uh, and do this like unfinished silver like R34. But I want to get all the throttle bodies and all this stuff all redone so it looks all brand new. I think it's called like Remade in USA. I'll put an Instagram post of what their uh, refreshed rebuild kit looks like. And I think that's the look of what I'm looking for under the hood. When I pop it, it's going to look good. It's going to look sexy. Just like my wife. Um, if you guys like this type of content, like the brakes, like the blow off valves, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I figured I'd just throw in a few clips of me opening the Nismo fuel pump and the Nismo timing belt just for fun. Hope you guys like. I can do a full review. I shot the video if you guys would like to see it. Let me know in the comments down below. The material definitely is is denser. This is the Nismo right here.